from Blessed Bears. I'm a mother of nine. We're a family of 11. And today I am doing a collab with Leilani from Living With Eve. I will put her channel in the description box below. Please make sure that you check that out. And I will also be putting the playlist so you can check out all of the other moms and the books that they think are great. But yeah, that's what we're going to talk about today is books that we recommend either for yourself or as a gift to someone else. And so I will just jump right in and share. These are four of the books that have really impacted my motherhood and homeschooling journey. And so the first book is Safely Home by Tom Eldridge. I'm sorry if it's backwards. If it is, I apologize. But this book gives an amazing, and it's really like small, a really quick, easy read. Um, it gives information on how education has changed and sort of what was the biggest thing that changed education throughout history and the pros and the cons of it. It really like, I had already made the choice to homeschool, but this like furthered it big time. If there's anyone that's on the fence or even yourself and you're like, I don't know, maybe I should stop or I'm not doing good enough or, or whatever, I'm telling you. And for grandparents who like are unsure um, or whatever, it's just a great wealth of information. I love this book. I found out about it at a homeschool conference a long time ago when I only had a couple of kids. And there was someone that was speaking and they suggested it and I am so glad I went and picked it up and I have loved it. I've read it a couple of times and I have suggested it to others, but yes, quick, easy read, wonderful gift, and you will not regret reading this book if you are into homeschooling or even just educating yourself about the truth of it, you know, um, it's really awesome. So next book, this one was suggested to me recently. Um, Anna with Just Making It Work, she was like, hey, I'm reading this book and I really like it. And I was like, okay. I normally do not take the, suge the suggestions of every single, you know, like mom that's like, you got to read this book. You got to read that one. Not trying to sound like I know it all because I definitely do not. But I have so many kids. There's some books I'm like, eh, I don't know if that would benefit me. This one, oh my gosh, is good for beginner mom mom of a couple of kids, mom of a lot of kids. This book is amazing. It's called Mom Fog. It's by Hannah Keeley. She's actually on Instagram and other social media. She's really like upbeat and like super duper enthusiastic. Anyways, this book has been a game changer. It has inspired me. I don't necessarily agree with every single thing that she has in there, but literally 99% of it I do and I love. She um, this book is biblically based, so that's a factor in there, and she gives a lot of information, but oh my gosh, it's just like helping you get out of the rut of feeling like you're run down, and you're inadequate, and you can't do it, and you'll never accomplish your dreams, or whatever. If you've ever felt that way, trust me, Mom Fog, bless yourself, gift it to you, or if you see a mom that's struggling and exhausted and needs some sort of um, inspiration, enthusiasm, cheerleader in the background whenever she doesn't have any mom fog highly recommend thank you Anna by the way for suggesting it so um this book is called the very best hands-on kind of dangerous family devotions book now I went to a homeschool conference this past March of 2022 and there was a guy here um Tim Shoemaker and he was giving some demonstrations and it was just so cool. So this one is great for the family. This is a great book to gift to another family or your own family. It's a great book. I highly suggest it. But basically what it is, it's five minutes, like kind of like science lessons slash fun lessons, just different random things. Like some of it's kind of sciencey, but he gives like a, just a real quick devotion and like, take a stab at kindness and he'll just give a real quick like what you need it's most things that are found around your house and it's some kind of cool thing that you do with the family so everyone's involved because it's like this hands-on thing one time it's like um just shooting toilet paper off into the air just like fun things that your kids from ages like baby to like teenager and beyond um would love it would also be awesome for grandparents to uh, implement whenever your grandkids come visit or whatever but Honestly, it's really family focused. And so they just give you an example of how to prepare it, what you need, 
uh, what you do, how to run the activity, and then just different things on how this has to do with, um, for instance, is it possible that we do the same thing to others? Is it possible that we make hurtful, unkind comments to them? And they cover it up with a laugh or by, by seeming to ignore it, just so we don't know how much our comment could hurt them. So this one has like a character quality that you're learning with a fun experiment, okay? I love this. The way the guy, um, Tim Shoemaker, put this on at the homeschool conference was amazing. And there is so many. I guess it's 52 activities, so one per week. And it's just amazing, catching fire. I mean, and it's so simple. So again, highly recommend this book. I got it at the homeschool conference, but I'm sure that you can get it probably on Amazon. I'm pretty sure you can get almost everything on Amazon. Um, but I will put all of these books, if they're on Amazon, in the description box below as well. So you can just click on that and go right to it. And last but not least, I was gifted this book, Mother Culture. You can tell it's been loved. <laughs> Um, a couple of years ago by a fellow mom here on YouTube. And um, I wasn't expecting, I had seen it and we did like a mom box swap. And right now she's going through um, a really hard journey right now. So I don't know if she wants me to mention her or not, but if you watch this, you are very sweet and I cherish this book. But anyways, so it's a book that is really inspiring if you're a homeschool mom. It goes through, in their short little lessons, what is mother culture? And there's like these neat pictures. It's just like homemaker central, like just, I, I love it. Absolutely love it. But anyway, she goes through just different things. Let me try to get to the meat of it because, you know, the beginning of every book, it's like introductory. The majesty of motherhood, how important your job is as a mother. Um, let's see. Uh, about clothing and dressing your children and yourself and, and she gives some like little stories and examples I'm trying to see um, how your kids could help you out it's just so cool because I love it look at these pictures they're so family oriented it's so inspiring and each chapter is really like small so like chapter 20 talks about helping mom just simple little things like feeding the cat hey that helps the family right teaches kids great life lessons, and it just helps your journey on um, being a mother and motherhood and homeschooling and all of that. I'm trying to show you some more pictures. Um, bringing back the moral and patriotic stir. It just has all kinds of things. I love the pictures, and there's great examples of real life moms and how they raise kids, um, like the ones that invented the airplanes, the Wright brothers. It talks about that mom and how just her parenting style impacted her children and allowed them to be free and to learn and um, to discover what they did. And obviously it changed our world. So anyways, this book is awesome. Karen Andriella. I will put all of these books in my description box below. Please make sure that you check out um, Leilani with Living with Eve and the playlist below. I love these books. I highly suggest them. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you on the next one.